Um, do you mind talking a little bit about uh, why you moved here? Mm -hmm. So I was working, I fell in love with climbing and I traveled here to the US for several climbing trips and certifications to become a single pitch instructor to take people out uh, for a day of climbing. Mm -hmm. And I, I decided to, well, since my cousin, my aunt live here, mm -hmm. it was very easy for me to, hey, hey, I can move there and climb and expose myself to a different culture. And that's kind of what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, the reason why I came here was because I got tired of having to save so much money and to just go on a like mm -hmm. a week long trip, mm -hmm. say to the River Gorge, but I only had very limited time right. to to climb there and then I would go back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, cool. That's why. And then how long have you been here now? I've been here for about nine to ten months. Right. Okay. I got here in February, it's now what, November. What were you doing previously in Puerto Rico before you came here? I was working as a guide. So yeah, I was taking people out climbing and cool. going on trails awesome. and awesome. repelling and really showing cool. them the rainforest what? and what mm -hmm. the flora and the fauna and the culture is like. Very cool. Yeah. Were you getting a lot of tourists or a lot of locals? Tourists. All tourists. Lo okay. Yeah. yeah. Very small percentage of people were locals. So I worked for several different companies and um, for, for rock climbing, you would, it was more common to find um, locals, um, but again, it was more um, people that came from the U.S. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when are we going? When is she taking <laughs> Excursion to Puerto Rico? Maybe. But later. we have to bring all our tarps first. Yes. I think we have to pay our dues first. Yes. <laughs> the tarps. Yeah. Those were great. Those were so really useful. Yeah. Um, okay, so you want to talk a little bit about your occupation now and what your future aspirations are? Yeah. Here, or if you're going to go back, or whatever so, you're going to do. Yeah. I feel I'm trying, I'm still figuring that out. But so uh, my boyfriend and I, and um, his really good friend, were thinking about the possibility of building a gym in Puerto Rico because there aren't any. Oh, cool. And the people who do climb, like, um, they're very interested in continuing. And we have a home wall. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people go there. And it's great. But it's just a home wall. Right. So um, we think it'd be really good if we had a climbing gym. Mm -hmm. So one of the ris reasons why I thought it'd be a good idea for me to be here for a while was to learn how the climbing industry and how the business runs and what it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, and that's been really good and insightful in its mm -hmm. own. So, and you work at a climbing gym now. Just and I'm, yeah, and I'm climbing at SBP. 